If you wanna be my love, please never let me be having a good time. Ah, hold tight. If you, if you, yeah, you wanna want, wanna really, really want, stop right now. Need you very much. You've got to get with my friends. Generation X, Generation X. Go power. Pathetic. Everyone ready for this? Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, stand by as we deliver to your TV trapdoor the living embodiment of 20th century pop culture. It's TFI Friday! Yes! And tonight, you'll be witness as we wed the hurricane that it's eating up the earth. Please welcome the Spice Girls. Yes! Uh,
They're the best. That's said to me by the Spice Girls on the show all evening this evening. Right, they're off to get themselves together. Them, they're off now, them, to get themselves ready uh, to come back on the show right here, right now. Um, I'm quite nervous tonight, to be honest, to have the Spice Girls. And we've never dedicated a whole show to one band before. You know, uh, we wouldn't have them on two years ago. Now we've given them the whole show. Three songs, the whole damn thing. Because that's how wrong we were, girls. That's how wrong we were. Uh, but, um, you know, I'm nervous, but if there's one thing that's never nervous on the show, it's not a person, it's the desk. This desk has seen it all come and go. This desk is never nervous, right? <laughs> but tonight, even the desk is nervous. <laughs> Pete, just bring the boom in a sec. Now, look, I'm, qu I'm quite excited. This, this is my heartbeat. <laughs> OK? You know, a, a little above the, the average. OK? But the desk, listen to the desk heartbeat. <laughs> Desk nervous, isn't that cute? In fact, in fact, the desk is vibrating. It's so nervous. It's it's, it's teeth are chattering. It's unbelievable. <laughs> All right. All right, desky, desky, desk. But listen, what use is a vibrating desk to a Spice Girl? <laughs> Andrew's nervous and excited tonight. Andrew's so nervous, the barman, that he thinks he's Napoleon. <laughs> Cedric is nervous. Cedric never gets nervous. Cedric's the coolest cat in the world, but Cedric's back on the bottle. He started drinking cooking oil again. He's off the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> he's 61. He drinks cooking oil. That's all I know. And, uh, Will, how do you feel about the Spice Girls coming on? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm OK. I mean, I like them. Not, probably not, not the biggest fan in the world, really. Oh, is that right? Mm. <laughs> all right. It's, you know, it's quite nice. Oh, quite so, so all those calls we got of tourists around London yesterday weren't about you? What are you talking about? All those calls we got saying that you were roaming around the streets of London in front of tourists dressed in a Jerry Spice Union Jack dress. <laughs> You're joking. Well, they, stupid. No, they <laughs> camcorded them, Will. If this isn't you, I don't know who it is. This is yesterday filmed in London by a tourist. Now that looks, that looks like you to me. Hang on. That is you, Will. That's not me. That is you. I don't know. I mean, I've got a dress that looks a bit like that, but I mean, that's not me. That's clearly somebody. No, I don't. Looks a bit like me. I recognise you from the back, and that's you, Will. No, that is not me. Look, that's hey, you. You know, you know. It's not. You know, I don't smoke a pipe, Chris. Well, it's not me. No, I've never seen you smoke a pipe, but I still think that's you, Will. It's clearly yeah. not me. That is not me. <laughs> yes. It's not me. It's just not me. I think it is you. It's not me. It's just not me. I'll give you one more chance. It's you. <laughs> All right. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. Somebody OK, else. then. How do you explain the following shots? <laughs> I'm Will McDonald of TFI Friday, and I'm nuts about the Spice Girls. <laughs> how do you explain that? No, let, me, let me see that again. <laughs> I'm Will McDonald of TFI Friday, and I'm nuts about the Spice Girls. Yeah. Oh, Thursday! Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, 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 that was me. Sorry, I got my days mixed up. That was me, sorry. Told you. And now the Spice Girls have been here all day. They're very good at their job, you know. They're so good at their job. They've been hanging around all day, but they've got so much energy because they're all so fit. And they're so good at the job, they don't need to rehearse much. So they've been like tempestuous children all day running around, and we've been worried about them, one of them going astray. So we've come up with a brand new security device. And what we've done is we've just tied them all to pieces of string. <laughs> Color-coded string, and, and this is where all the strings end up. And uh, there's, there's a string for each Spice Girl, and they're all attached to one of these pieces of string. So if I want to know where they are, I'll just tug it and, we, and sort of reel them in. Um, so <laughs> to prove this, you know, they've all got one posh ginger baby, sporty and scary. Um, do you want to see one of the Spice Girls? Yeah! Okay. This is my new color-coded string uh, security measure to keep them in, in, on tow, in tow, in the building. Uh, who do you want to see? Sporty. You want to see Mel? All right, you want to see Mel? Okay, in a minute. Mel should be it should be attached to the end of the string. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. It's a bit of a snag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hang on a minute. <laughs> I've just realised the door opens the other way. <laughs> we'll open the door, please, oh. will you? There she is. Come here. Now, where have you been?
Christine! Chris, what do you want? Hey, well, I just wanted to prove that you are on the end of these strings, yeah, all of you. Yeah, we'll be on the end of the string all day. I know, it's the way I'm keeping tabs on you. I don't need to wander off in a pop star tantrum. Okay, what do you want? Uh, well, I just want you to say hello to the gang. Hiya. Hiya. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Gonna get off again now? Yeah. Okay, where are you going? What, what have you got to do? I, I'm just gonna go for a beard or something, I don't know. All right, well, just before you go, just read that out for us, uh, all right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, in part two, we try and get a rope around the global shockwave that is the Spice Girls. All singing, all chatting, all hell will not only be let loose, but be given new boots and shiny knuckle dusters. But first, it's Uncle Johnny Boy, and the wheels are steel. Yeah! Well, thank you very much, but I'm so glad it was Mel that introduced me then. If it had been Jerry, she would have probably fired me, wouldn't she? You know what she's like. <laughs> Anybody, you know. <laughs> Let's go with the Spice Girls. Yeah, come on! to the bar here by Friday. What about Andrew then? I can't believe Andrew tonight dressed as Napoleon. What about that? When he said he's got the Spice Girls on, he said, I'm going to be blown apart. <laughs> blown apart. <laughs> See, blown apart. <laughs> oh, come on. Good. Not bad, John. Not bad. So that's Napoleon blown apart. Yeah. It's very funny. So you can't deny that. That's humor. That's top class. That's top draw. The time has now come to meet the phenomenon that is the Spice Girls. Who's your favourite? Make your mind up all night and then vote at the end in our live phone-in. So, would you please welcome my new girlfriend, uh, my future fiance, and of course, wife. She is Jerry Hallowell. <laughs> Hello, Geraldine. Ger only my mother. Calls me that. Oh, can I be the other person in the world only apart from your mum's called you Jerry? My manager Jeremy? called me that. Oh well, I don't want to do that then, do I? So I don't know. I don't you know. called me Jez the other day. That was quite good. Jez, Jerry, Jell. Yeah. That was my junior school name actually, Jez. Jez. Yeah. Okay. I, but you you've me been calling me Christopher all day, so I thought I'd call I know, you Ger Geraldine. Okay, Geraldine. We said, have, I said just before we came, and I said, have a great. You, I said, have a great show. You said, have a great show, Christopher. Christopher. Yeah, you are Christopher in my eyes. I said, you too, Geraldine. Why am I Christopher in your eyes then? I know you just look like a Christopher. Oh, I feel like a Christopher. Yeah. Like a naughty Christopher. I am a naughty Christopher. <laughs> there you go. And so, are, you, are you a naughty Geraldine? I am a naughty Geraldine. Good because, girl! Because, because, I'll tell you why I'm a naughty Geraldine. Why, why, why? Because I had a confession to make. Earlier today, you asked me whether I had listened to your radio show and I said no. Yeah. And I had. Okay, and I've got to say, I was touched and very flattered. What, today? Yes, this morning. Okay, when I, when I, when I didn't propose to you on the air, did I? I just said you are going to be my wife because you gave me that look That's in the eye. That's good, positive visualisation. And did you, hear, did you hear the bit about where I said that you feathered our nest because you bought us a little marital hideaway? No. You know you bought this house on the farm, if that's true, is that true? That's kind of partly true, I haven't bought it, I just lived there. Okay, you lived there? Yeah, I've lived there for years. Well, how does, are you a squatter? How does that work? I just, I just rent there, I haven't just Oh, you rent bought. it? Yeah. So that's our little hideaway, is it? That's mine and yours hideaway? That can be. Great. <laughs> I'm you can come over a cup of tea, we can be friends. Yeah, we can... We can be friends. Yeah, well, friends is, friends is more important at the beginning, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely. Too many people do it the wrong way around nowadays. Absolutely. They become lovers, then discover they've got to become friends, and they can't become friends, and then they split up. Yeah, because lust does not last. Well, sometimes it does. Lust doesn't last. Well, You're... sometimes you get a 90-year-old couple that are still at it, and that's quite nice. Like the... <laughs> <laughs> like the couple... Sometimes it's not, and you think, mm. But like the couple in Titanic that are hugging on the bed. Do you remember that? Yeah. The... We're on a tear oh, to that my was eye. nice, yeah. Did you like that bit? I did. Okay, I you did. follow these sayings, lust doesn't last. What are your other philosophical sayings? Oh, what was it? I said equalisation between the sexes. Yeah. And I said to you the other day, um, was imperfection is a sign of individuality. Wow. There you go. <laughs> have you been reading a lot? You have, haven't you? I do read a lot, actually, yeah. I'm reading a book at the moment, is um, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. Well, what's that about, then? <laughs> it's kind of, you can, if you just, you know, don't worry about anything, you can handle it, then, you know, you won't have any anxiety. There's nothing worth worrying about apart from ill health to your loved ones. Absolutely. That's it, I Life's think. too short. Now, talk, talking about uh, things you don't need to worry about, did you, did, was it your decision to fire your manager? It wasn't just my decision, but, it was one-fifth of a de decision. But who brought the subject up? I have a feeling it might have been you. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't, Well, somebody you know. said, listen, I've been, I've been thinking. 
<laughs> Maybe. I can't. <laughs> it was, it was it a wasn't. joined decision, yeah, but, yeah, you know. But who sparked the idea? I think, who said, you know, I in our minds, we all... Lie. I think, you know, on a spiritual, mental level, our minds are in the same place, but, but obviously verbally it doesn't mean... Who brought it up? Maybe, me, I can't lie. <laughs> so you haven't got a manager anymore, have you? No, we manage ourselves. It's really good. We've got dele what we do is delegate. Right. Everybody, it's like the prime minister. We are the prime ministers. Right. Okay. And then we sort of we got defence, transport, you know that kind of social thing. sec. Who's the social sec? Actually, um, can I be honorary social sec? Emma is. She is the monster. I want to help you out with the social sec. Okay please. then. I can organise a great, you know, pub crawl. Whatever. I'm can I see your CV? <laughs> I'll have to check out your CV all first. Right. But but I've, seriously, all day today they've been around, and uh, there, there isn't anybody looking after you. You're looking after yourselves. Yeah, we do. You have your assistants, but there's nobody in charge. No, no it's one's fantastic. telling us. It's fantastic. It's the way that, forward. You know, everybody everyone. should. You know, we... and no ten percent to the manager. Exactly. It works, Jeff. Yeah? Yeah. You don't need them. Now listen, you've had your uh, run-ins with Oasis, haven't you? You particularly. Not really. I think they're quite, you know, Noel's quite nice. Yeah, but you've, you had a go at him once, didn't you? I didn't. That wasn't me. Well, I thought that was she. I thought you said something. No, that was Mel C. Oh, right. Oh, she doesn't mind saying... Oh, no, Mel B speaks her own mind more than anybody else. She does. She is quite She should forward. be Speaker of the House in your Parliament. She should. She maybe scares she sh me. Maybe she should be Defence. OK, well, so, so, you get on with, so you're fine with Oasis, that's all right? I think so, yeah. Right. I haven't got a problem with them. Okay. Why? Are they going to spring out? No, good like God, that? no. <laughs> they won't come anywhere near the building, let alone the show. No. So, You're so, mates with them, aren't you? Uh, well, I, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Uh, where are they now at the moment? Well, well, you said it, not me. OK, well, thanks to Jerry for the moment. Jerry, Jerry by the way. Jerry, <laughs> Jerry's going to stick around. They're going to do two more songs. Now, we've got to meet somebody else. Jerry's going to park a body over there. Let's meet Ms Victoria Adams. Here comes another... <laughs> We were just chatting, me and Jerry again there, so I've got, I've got your little card here. I've got cards for all of you. So that was Spice Girl number one. Who's your favourite in the Spice Girl contest? Uh, phone at the end of our live poll, uh, poll vote. Uh, so, Victoria, you are Victoria Adams. I am. And uh, <laughs> you, your age? I'm 24. 24 years old. And occupation? Uh, Singer-songwriter. And a Spice Girl? A Spice Girl. Wow, imagine that, having that as your occupation. I'm a Spice Girl. One of the five, by the way. And your marital status? Single at the moment. But, single. But soon I'm to be. I'm not single, no, sorry. No, but I'm not married yet. That's but what soon I meant. To I'm be. not married yet. Soon to be. Soon to be who? Mrs. Beckham. Hey! I think. Hey, I'll tell you what, Victoria. I think it's so cute that you describe it like that. Soon to be Mrs. Beckham. <laughs> so are you going to change your name? Yeah, I am. Oh, isn't Aww. that cool? Yeah. It's only because she doesn't like Adams. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Adams is a great name. Well, you're part of the Adams family. Halliwell well. says Adams isn't a great name. Now, don't name. start arguing hey. now. Come on, it's been nice all day. <laughs> Uh, so, so you've already planned the wedding because I was at the, yeah. I was backstage with you at Wembley on Sunday. Oh yeah, that's right. and uh, you had your wedding advisors there. Yeah, I had some wedding coordinators there that I was having a chat with. So what's all that about? How does that work? They kind of organise, you know, all the cake and all the if you want geese in the front garden, you know, like all the all the fancy stuff to do with the wedding. You've got this thing about geese in the front garden of your wedding, <laughs> and this is true. She wants geese at her wedding. Why do you want geese at your wedding? I don't know. They just look good, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very worried about that. And do, do the wedding coordinators uh, suggest geese? Yes. They suggest geese? No, you know, geese. just all the kind of fancy stuff, you know, the stuff you see in the films, that's what I want. OK, well, lovely. I, I, do you, you want the, mo the best day of your life, that's what you You're want. You're going to come to the wedding. If I'm invited, I'd love to You're come. Gonna come. I'll do the wedding. disco for you. Good to do the disco. <laughs> well, I was going to ask um, that man over there to do the disco. That man over there. <laughs> 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 Did you do it? Johnny Boy Rebel. Johnny Boy, yeah, I wondered if he'd do it for me. I'm sure he would do it. We'll do it together. Uh, so, uh, how, can I ask you how it happened with you and David? Because I've read about it, but I've never heard from the horse's mouth. Um, what happened? So how did did he pull you or did you pull him? Well, I suppose I pulled him really. Really? <laughs> yeah, no, I liked him, so I went to a football match and I kind of punted him down. But the I still get really embarrassed talking but the about it. The first time it, it didn't work out, did it? You had to go back a second time. I had to go because right? he's very shy, you see. Yeah. So I really had to keep, you know, I kept going back and trying to pursue it. So, so what happened? You were in the players' lounge. I yeah, I was in that the right? players' lounge, and I just said, "So you're going to take me out then?" And he Did kind you? Of, uh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Aww. So he's so, so he's really cute as well as he handsome is. and a brilliant footballer and yeah. the future husband of your good self. He's got brilliant legs. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine me and David Beckham now sat at home thinking, I'm going to marry her. I play for Man United. I also play for England. I'm a great footballer. I'm really handsome and I'm quite well off. 
<laughs> and you know what? He never wrote to Jim will fix it once. <laughs> so we, we've got we've got a little bit of film um, of you. Oh and now we won't show it if you don't want us to, but I think it's brilliant. And I think it, I've never seen it before. And it's when you audition for the Spice Girls. Oh no, oh, you can't! Listen, listen Victoria, can't. if you don't want to show it, I won't. But I think it's. This piece of film is the actual audition where Victoria got the job in the Spice Girls. Can we this show it? This is just not? worse than embarrassing. Can we show it? We don't, if you don't oh. want us to, we won't. We won't. A little tiny weenie 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 bit. Okay. <laughs> is, okay, this, this is really me taking the piss out of myself here, no, because this is really hair, bad. This is really bad. Okay, but we won't show it if you don't want us to. Do you mind? This is a historical day because now that the Spice Girls, they're, they're known throughout the world, they sell 18 million albums, and this is the day I Victoria got the job. No. Unbelievable. <laughs> 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 piece of film. The strange thing about that piece of film, just go back to it, run it again. Because this is, this is, this is, this, look, it's the smallest pianist in the world. <laughs> He's not there. So you're now in the Spice Girls. Thanks for being on the show. You've got two Thank more songs you. to go. And by the way, we've got all the auditions of all the other girls as well. Great. So now, so now you've said yes, they've got to say yes as well. Great. Okay, that was Victoria. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now... Snuggle up with Jerry, Victoria, while we have the pleasure of seeing on our gantry the gorgeous Emma Baby Spice is here as well. Darling, don't We're worry. Right here. No, I've, got a, very nice, I've got a card for you here as well. Okay, so Emma, Ooh. when I said hello, to, hello, baby, as you came on, then that is that's I can say that because you're baby Spice. You can say that, yeah. Now, you were you the last to join the Spice Girls? What happened there? I was, yes, I was the last to join. But I actually, I've known Victoria since I was about eight. We right. did a show together when we were younger. Now, were the Spice Girls already four, or did they always want five? What happened? Well. You know, there was there was four of them obviously together, and then because I knew Victoria, she said come along, and I went along, met the girls, and hit it off straight away. You weren't the Spice Girls. Were they weren't the Spice Girls until I came. No. Well, <laughs> did you have a different name then? They did, yeah. They, they were we called were called Touch. Touch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. See, it was rubbish, wasn't it? No, Spice that Girls works. <laughs> Spice Girls works. So listen, you've got a story to tell because we've all made mistakes in our lives. Nobody's made a bigger mistake than me, obviously. <laughs> and um, you came to see us two years ago. Do you want yes, to tell the story? We, did. we came along to see Chris, didn't we? About four years ago. Four years ago. Yeah, was two. It? Two. No, it was. Yeah, it was oh, maybe three. Like four. Three. All right. Let's, let's we'll go, we'll for go three. in the middle yeah. of three. Okay. And we came to see you and we said, you know, hi Chris, we'd love to come on your show. And you said, go back to live and kick in. He screamed, go back and he to said, live <laughs> And he said he didn't want us on the show, so. And you, you came in our office and nobody had ever heard of you. And you, they stood and there sung. and they sang their hearts out a cappella and said, look, we're really good. And I was so horrible Especially and so dark. Especially for you as well, Chris. I know. And I said, no, go off to live and kick in, right? Two things really horrible about me saying that. One, yeah. it was disrespectful to you because you're working really hard. Very. Two, Live and Kicking's a great show, so I was wrong on both <laughs> <laughs> Live and Kicking is a great show, yeah. Uh, and so, but you've been around before. You've been on the TV and, and uh, in the public <laughs> domain before the Spice Girls. Yes, Wars. I have. Did anybody <laughs> see Emma in EastEnders? Yeah. 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 Well, at least she wasn't singing mine hair, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she actually mugged an old man. I did. Uh, an old man who Sorry. looks like he's related to Cedric. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I thought it was. It looks like <laughs> it looks like Cedric before he went to the health farm. Uh, now let, let's see, let's see um, Emma uh. mugging a poor old black guy. I always 
got those horrible bits. You went through your dark days like I did then. Yes, we did. But you're all right now. I'm fine. You're going to sing for us, aren't you? I am actually, yes. Okay, she's going to sing a little song for us. It's a song from the show. Okay, sings this song part of the gig. It's unbelievable. And the Duchess of York has faxed us here, and the fact says, um, my question for the four Spice Girls is, what's it like to work with a, a fiery redhead? I would also ask uh, the same question to Will. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it like working Actually, with Jerry? Actually, it's, it's pretty mad. She's quite a... She's quite a nutcase. She's quite temperamental. <laughs> Yeah, quite. Yeah. yeah, she is actually. Was it her suggestion to sack the manager? Actually, do you know what? what? I was thinking. We were thinking about that, and I actually think it was Victoria's. No! Oh! <laughs> the dark destroyer Should I over there. Confess that on television now. You can. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, look, the other two aren't here. Mel C and Mel C and Mel B aren't here because they're downstairs because they're doing their own thing downstairs now. This is Mel B and Mel C once again for the live show that's touring the world at the moment. Please welcome Mel C and Mel B. Scary and sporty with sisters are doing it for themselves. <laughs>
Spice Girls, Spice Girls everywhere. I couldn't be happy. Welcome back. We've come back for absolutely no reason at all. This is the end of part two. We'll see you in part three. <laughs> I'd just like to formally offer my service to Miss Victoria Adams, uh, Mr. David Beckham for their wedding. 85 quid and a discount rate because I know they're skin. Listen, on next week's show, Spice Girls this week. Next week, we've got a brand new band called Source. Ladies and gentlemen, a brand new band called Source. We're not sure how long they're going to be together because all their gear's on HP. Ha, <laughs> HPC. Stop. Hey, the pe <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible joke, John. Uh, uh, next, week, next week on the show, Lenny Kravitz is going to be here. Also, All Saints. <laughs> all Saints, one of the finest female bands in the world. <laughs> Only the finest, but one yeah. of the finest. Uh, the Blue Tones and one of uh, Britain's finest actors, Ray Winston, is going to be here. But also, boys, Banana Rama are going to be on the show. Yeah. Banana Rama. Yeah. Yeah. Do some Banana Rama. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they can I'm do Banana Rama. Jones, you've been gone too long. <laughs> and I'm locked <laughs> in a prison cell. What about guilty? What about guilty? You know, oh, yeah. um, guilty. Guilty as a duck can be. Come on, baby, set me free. See, we know, we know. Wicked, How good are they? How good are they? They can sing, the other two can sing. We've already heard them sing. Please welcome Mel B and Mel C. Yeah. Yeah. Melly, 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 Melly. <laughs> Mel B, how are oh, you? I, I'm very well, thank you. That how was, are you? That was brilliant, was the old great. sisters, wasn't it? That was a great song. You did very well there. Um, this is a fact from All Saints. Uh, All right. They've sent you a question. Go Here on, it then. Comes. Uh, we read an article in the press, an interview with you, where Mel B says somebody told her All Saints didn't write their own songs. Who was it they want to know? It was you. Was it? <laughs> oh, you thanks a lot. That. No, it wasn't me. So I think you should write the next question to him because it was actually him. It wasn't me. It was. Don't lie, Chris. Come I've on. Never, I've never met you before yes, Sunday. You, you have your man. It's been like this all day. Oh, she, she's got to calm down. What? They don't write their own songs. They don't. Jerry, come on. What are you saying now? No, too. No, um, I'm not saying anything. Audition BT. <laughs> All right then. Uh, yeah, we've got you auditioning for um, oh. the, the Spice Girls when you, the day you got the job. I'm just going to give up. Go on then. Play no, no. It. Do you mind if we play it? I don't mind. Might as well. Hey, it's not bad. Go on. This is the day Mel B got the job with yeah. the Spice Girls. <laughs> I saw it, I said, have we really got this today? Excellent. It's brilliant though, isn't it? It's all right, not bad, oh, not come bad. On. It must have been one of the best days of your life. That's the day you got the gig with the girls. That's true. Yeah? That's true. <laughs> and you don't exactly regret it 18 million albums later, do you? No, I don't at all. I'm very proud. <laughs> You know, be you, proud you're a lovely pianist girl. over there. What's his name? No way, you're not going to get me to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> The rest of the band said, you, you are always winding them up. Can I get you back? <laughs> I'm going to get you lot back. You know I will. We've, oh. only, we've only got a minute. <laughs> Go on, then. Oh, wait a minute. 
I've leave the children Oh, right, no, I don't want to do it. No, no, go on. No. Get your note, get your note, no, get your no, note. You lot, you lot. Give her a note, go on, what is it? Wait, can you do it a bit lower, please? Oh. Well, I'll give you a note, you just join in. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact with respect, we do like a cappella. We do like a cappella. Yes. With respect, we do like a I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. That's okay. all right, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> now. You got, you have me shaking, you do. I'm sorry, Mel B. Listen, you also play the drums. Oh, no! Come on, you're good at this. I know Why you are. is this payback Melanie time? I don't... Did you not set this up? We didn't know about the singing. Okay, come on. I do have shorts on. Melanie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm like, are you going to see everything? <laughs> Put the camera up a bit so you don't see out. <laughs> Okay, so that's Mel B. And remember, we want you to keep watching to see who's your favourite Spice Girl. We've got a, a phone poll vote. Uh, you can vote for your favourite Spice Girl. Uh, lucky caller will win a holiday in Bermuda. Shorts. Here's the number. Okay, there you go. <laughs> now, here's Mel C's here now. Come on, Sporty. Oh. So. Mel, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for coming on the show. It's a pleasure. And uh, is it true that you have trouble getting a man? <laughs> I think the truth is that I'm just really not that bothered at the moment. Really? Yeah. Yeah. She likes women! Does she? <laughs> <laughs> Because I, I had, you had trouble getting my not because you're not beautiful or attractive. You just, you just don't, you can't find the right guy at the moment. Is that right? Do you know what? No one really interests me to tell you the truth. Really, nobody at all on the planet. Well, not that I've met. I mean, there's loads of people I haven't met yet. Do you get lots of advances? Um, no. <laughs> it must be difficult though, isn't it? Because you, because you, you, you're swished out of your, your gigs and you're straight into a car and you're straight off and you probably never get to meet anyone. Yeah. We get, we get the chance, but you know, I believe in fate, so I know he's out there waiting for me. Yeah. And what would he be like? I don't know. What's the most important thing? Uh, sense of humour. He's got to make me laugh. Is that true though? Because all girls say that, but. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. but. And it, no, no, but he's got to look good as well. Yeah, exactly. Because this is a really ugly geezer in the corner of the pub. You're not going to go and talk to him. And he could be the funny. I could be the funniest bloke in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Which, of course, I'm not. Uh, now, we, we have your audition tape as well. Um, we sort of haven't got time to show it, unfortunately, your audition tape. But we have got time to show another tape that I don't think has been seen before. But once again, only... Now, this, actually, I've been stitched up the most here because everybody's seen all the others. They've all been on telly, but this one has never been seen. Do you know which don't one it is? Yes. Yeah. OK, worse. it's the one where you're in a At dance college. class. Yeah. This is brilliant because what this shows you, right, is that there were 25 girls in the dance class. Oh, my mate. And one of them really wanted to make it and was concentrating so much more than any of the other girls. The other girls think, yeah, we can do this. And there was one girl who thought, no, I'm going to get this right. And this actually took my breath away when I saw it. And this is um, Mel C in a dance class trying to do her best <laughs> and dreaming of fame one day. And you know what? She got it. Why Mel's got where she's got today and the others yeah. haven't, maybe. Yeah. I think it's a lesson to us all, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, she's a very hard worker. Yeah. Very so, so, you had a day off yesterday, which is very yes. rare for you, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So, what did you do on your day off? Well, I was quite busy yesterday. What did you do? I had a few appointments. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <but> actually, <laughs> um, I went to see a spiritualist. Did you? Mm. And what did the spiritualist tell you? Well, I don't want to give too much away, but it's the future's looking very bright for the Spice Girls. Yeah. OK. In which particular department? Um, in every department. Yeah? Personal, professional, yeah. It was all big thumbs up all the way. Okay, and, and what's happening now? Because you're finishing your UK tour, all of you, mm -hmm. and it's very good. I, I've got to say, I was so impressed when I came to see you the other night. I'm just a changed man. You've 
you'd change me completely. Um, Come on! No, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. What, you mean, what, you mean you're gay now? No, no. <laughs> I, think, I think you actually swung me back the other way, to be honest. <laughs> but you're going to, to America and you sold out Madison Square Gardens in 13 minutes, yeah, is that right? Yeah, and um, in LA, we sold at that venue in seven minutes. Seven minutes? Yeah. So, so, so will you still talk to us when you come back to England? Okay, just generally, to, to, but you, England is your home, this is where you're going to stay. Oh, stadium. Yeah. yeah? Home is where the heart is. Okay, yeah, you've got your big stadium, stadium gig, haven't you? Yeah. Wembley, Wembley yeah. Stadium. Yeah. To that. Okay, towards the end of the summer. Nice. Wembley stadium. All right. And then yeah. when are you going to have a week off because you work too hard? We've got September. a few days off, haven't we? Come in. Do you know what? Today was meant to be a day off, but we decided to come on your show. Oh, instead. well, thanks yeah. very much. It's nice to have you here. Can we say thank you to all of the Spice Girls? Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Jerry, Emma, Victoria, Mel B, and Mel C. Okay, off you go, one more song. This is going to be a brilliant song. Another live rendition. Yeah. Singing with their friends, Ian McCulloch and his funny man. And we've got Mr. Space, and we've got Simon from Ocean Colour Scene. Tommy from Space is here. This is the brand new World Cup song, the brand new English song. It's on top of the world, the Spice Girls.